we have a, a bigger problem in, um, in the Air Force and in fact the DOD uh, with suicide. It's, it's, it's plaguing our active duty force, our guard, our reserves, our veteran community has been plagued by it for years. So I think as people, as human beings, compassionate people, we need to take this head on and, and find a way to do something because something, something is tragically wrong. The truth is a very, 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 very small number of Americans have seen combat directly. It's an extreme um, situation, but I mean, you could be watching a marathon and something happens. As people, we don't want to look at the ugliness. So we tend to, you know, ignore the fact that one in seven female soldiers was sexually abused as a child. That there's 6.6 .6 million US child abuse cases annually. There's a lot of harm going on out there, and those people become part of our family. And we may not understand why they're not themselves at work, or why they, um, maybe they're abrupt in the way they talk, or they're standoffish at the party, or they don't want to come down to the bar and have drinks with you. Um, and I think we need to take it upon ourselves to under understand that, to learn them, to love them, definitely not violate them. I really see these as four definitive ways to combat this epidemic. So you really have to know yourself first and foremost. And then once you know yourself, you have to take care of yourself. You have to be connected. You have to want to belong and you have to enable other people to belong.